Hey everyone, um, I am a little stupid. I sat here for like four minutes talking to a uh, camera that wasn't even uh, turned on. If it's not weird enough that I talk to a camera, I talk to one that wasn't even recording. Should have realized the light wasn't on. But anyways, today's video I am going to talk about legal and illegal pets in Canada, Ontario. And why I find some of these things a little contradictory and a little stupid. Okay, so, rabbits, lizards, snakes, ferrets, which I have been attacked by a ferret, and etc. are, in fact, wild animals. We can, in fact, purchase them at a pet shop. Geckos, pythons, lovebirds, parrots, all, and chinchillas, mice, rats. They're all wild animals, and you can purchase them as a pet. Now, I find a little off about that is that you're not allowed to have a wildlife pet a wildlife animal as a pet. And yet you can have all those as a pet, which not all of them, but quite a few of them can be, it can in fact be dangerous. For example, the snake. <laughs> Tarantulas, rats, obviously, they carry diseases. A lot of them can be dangerous. And ferrets, they're evil. I like them to chew, but don't turn your back on them. So out of that handful of danger, uh, dangerous wild animals that you can keep as a pet legally here in Canada, there are, on the other hand, cute little animals that you can't have as a pet because they are wild. Even though rabbits are. And I know rabbits are wild because we have wild rabbits around here where I'm at. One of them would in fact be a chipmunk. There are quite a few states in America that, at least from what I've read up on, that you can have legally a chipmunk as a pet. Now, I think that is awesome. I've always wanted a chipmunk as a pet since I was a kid. I've read up on how to take care of them, and know I know what to feed them. I know uh, what, like, what kind of stuff you need for them, and that they need a large space and etc. and so I really did look into getting one. What stopped me was I would get a five thousand dollar fine. Because I want to chipmunk. Really? You can have a snake. No problem. Forty bucks at the pet store here. You can have a chinchilla, which is, I think it's a rodent, I think. I know what they look like. They kind of look like mice to me. But you can have one of them as a pet. And you can have a mouse as a pet. You can catch a mouse in your house and keep it. That's a wild animal. You can purchase a mouse at a pet store. You can purchase a rat. You can purchase a turtle. Now, everyone goes like crazy on me saying, oh, well, they're wild animals, you shouldn't have them as a pet. I don't agree with having lions or tigers or all those literally exotic wild animals as pets. But I don't even really agree that they that they should even be in a zoo. Which is funny because I live right beside a zoo. But <laughs> a chipmunk? Come on. Really? Really, can we? One thing I will admit the states have up against us is you can have a fucking chipmunk as a pet. I want one. So, I think this will be the end of my little short video. And, because there's not really much to add to it besides the fact that there are many wild animals you can have as pets and you can't have a chipmunk as a pet. Or a squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. You can't have one as a pet. Makes sense. Makes sense.
So yeah, that will be my video. Let me know your opinions in the comment box. If you agree that chipmunks should be kept as pets, and if you disagree, please let me know why. Because I would actually like to know why a chipmunk should be illegal, because I, I really don't see what they can do besides bite you, which any animal can do. Yeah. <laughs> and so, comment down there with your opinion, somewhere down there. Uh, thumbs up, or thumbs down, whatever you want. Do what you want to do. I don't care. Well, not that I don't care, but everyone has a freedom of their own opinion, and if you don't like my video, you don't like it. If you like it, then... Yeah, you! <laughs> Support me, and... If you dislike this video, subscribe up top. I haven't really been uploading videos recently, and um, I apologize for that, but I've had a lot of um, bullshit going on. Uh, oh, this is a little message to people who are subscribed to me already. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on, and I know I shouldn't really be an excuse, because I've always used it as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an excuse. But uh, keep in mind, I did move from a, a huge city to town. And that has been a very drastic change. Um, not bad, but not good. In the middle. I enjoyed here, but a lot of family issues going on, and Michael's in the hospital, and there's just a bunch of stuff going on that is somewhat preventing me from uploading a video. But I will, in fact, now that I actually have been able to pull up my camera and set it up on my tripod and start recording, I will try to do it more often and as much as I can with all this stuff going on. And so, yeah, sorry. <laughs> but don't unsubscribe. I shall be uploading more. I don't know when, but I shall be. Cool, okay. I'm gonna go before I just go on about random things like I always do, and I think this is actually the shortest video I have actually ever recorded. Usually my videos end up like 10 minutes long, which my subscribers will know. My longest one has been 20, uh, no, it was 26 minutes, and I edited it, edited it down to 18. And yeah. So, okay. Done. Bye, guys.